Evaluating policy or the effectiveness of a social intervention requires a reliable control group not affected by that intervention. But where can you find a suitable control if everybody is affected? In fact, various techniques can be used to identify a control group. For instance, it may be possible to compare subjects which are at different stages of implementation or to compare groups that have been exposed to different levels of the intervention, known as intensities of treatment. Let's look at some examples. Consider a directive affecting all EU member states. Countries may adopt this directive at different times, so those who have yet to adopt it can be used as a control group for countries which have already done so. This can be done using a difference-in-difference approach, comparing outcome of the countries who already adopted the directive and ones who did not yet adopt it before and after the directive was established. Or consider an ongoing training scheme offered to all unemployed people. Individuals who have yet to begin their training may comprise a control group for those already participating in it. This can be achieved using dynamic matching, which compares individual sharing similar characteristics. Finally, consider an EU-wide program which provides different amounts of funding to different regions. The outcomes in each region can be related to the degree of funding, identifying a dose-response relationship. This can be done using generalized propensity score matching. Are you working on policy evaluation for the EU or its member states? The Competence Centre on Microeconomic Evaluation, or CCME, can help you to identify the best methods for evaluating projects and initiatives. Discover more about the Competence Centre and its resources on our website.